Yeah, I'm going to give him a 3.5 as well. He's what what he makes up, what he does in uh, in great ruling and uh, well prosperity for the realm. He makes up for with with uh, boringness. <laughs> That is not what I was expecting you to say. But you said it like it's a good thing, but you made it sound like a bad thing. When you have a a peaceful, a peaceful reign, (laughs) you don't have much to talk about. Exactly, that's boring. No blood. He's definitely a Viking. (laughs) Um, I'm sort of torn because I uh, there's any sort of faction I root for in A Song of Ice and Fire. It's those who promote stable and progressive social institutions, but it's less Jaharis in this regard and uh, Septon Barth. Yeah. But, uh, and Alphane, I, I think. Yes, definitely her as well. So, uh, I guess 4.5. It's less Jaharis and like the uh, advisors and people who he appoints to administer his realm. Cool. All right. So Jaharis um, Targaryen um, is, I guess, the first king to have a regency for a while because he became king. There are actually also are not. Uh, the, we're a little scarce on the details of like how he particularly became king um, in terms of like the technicalities of it. But um, regardless. He, it's like he was proclaimed when he was, what, 15? And that's kind of led to the everybody rebelling against Magor, and then I assume his majority is, what, that's usually like 20, 26, right? Or, I thought it was like 18. And, well, and every, yeah. each, each kingdom's different, I don't know. I, yeah. wasn't, wasn't Cersei trying to rule until Joffrey's 26 or something like that? Or am I completely 15. making that up? No. Cut it out, I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. Um, <laughs> well, anyway, um, he married his sister, Alisane. Um, I think they were like... Oh, he gets his trust fund at 26. That's what I meant. Okay, yeah, he got his trust fund. Um, I don't know which crown. Oh, his father's crown. So he used the new one, the not not um, Aegon one, which, again. Okay, the- Um the anus crown? Yes, the <laughs> anus crown. <laughs> he, he used Annie's son and he used Annie's crown. Um, which is also funny because he's like, he was what, like the fourth in line or something when he was born? He was which the is, third son. He was the third son. So yeah, that's also very interesting. Um, what's notable about his realm, uh, his reign, God, it's not even that late, but I'm tired. Um, it, uh, I don't know. Well, let's talk about Alsane for a second. Um, Alsane was pretty awesome. She was kind of like a patron of the Night's Watch. Um, she funded, um, she like gave them a ton of jewels and stuff to replace the Night Fort. Um, you guys remember the Night Fort with the rat cook and that all that awesomeness. Um, with something called Deep Lake Castle, which I don't remember ever hearing about before. <laughs> um, that might just be my lack of um, memory. Um, they named, um, a gate after her, so Queen's Gate is named after Alisane, and there's also, um, she arranged for, um, taking away Starkland and giving it to the Night's Watch, um, which is called the Gift. Um, meanwhile, oh, by the way, Jaehaerys Dragon was Vermithor, who you also probably remember from the Blacks and the Greens, um, Notable about their marriage is that apparently they were, like, totally best friends. They were totally into each other. They loved each other. It was all awesome. Oh, except for these two times when they, like, couldn't even be around each other. Um, (laughs) These fights were so bad, they got names. Yeah, they got capitalized (laughs) names. They are called the Quarrels. Um, We are told absolutely nothing about the first Quarrel. The second Quarrel, though, is important for later because um, this is about... The um, the succession um, since other of their uh, their children had had died, um, basically right. So the, I guess their heir, who was Aemon, right, he died, um, and um, Alisane wanted his daughter Rhaenys, 
who also you guys probably remember, to be made the heir. But instead, um, because, you know, like, women can rule, etc. But Jaehaerys was like, nah. And he made their son Balin heir to Dragonstone instead. Um, Which is, by the way, our first precedent for, um, I guess, choosing other than, like, the normal um, succession. This is our Actually, first. I think we have one before. Sorry. Oh, we did. Uh, because Maegor named his heir the the daughter of um, Raina and Aegon, and then Jaehaerys became king. But she was the um, Aegon had two daughters, and he was he was the oldest, and he was married to Raina, who was older than him. Mm. So maybe one of that that daughters should have. Well, uh, no, both were before him in the line of succession, and the, the oldest should have become queen. By do those, do they have names at all? Um, in the family tree, I can't remember right. I don't. <laughs> they might have died. Like that's my. Well, we don't, we don't <laughs> I'm assuming know, that so. people die in this. I'm sorry. Who are we talking about here? We're talking about um. um remember. Aegon and Raina and his kids who were married and then there was all that all all those problems with the five. And they had two kids. Hang on, I'm trying to find the the thing. Targaryen lineage. This is really not good for my dyslexia. Um Uh you mean are you talking about Alyssa Valerian? No, no, I'm talking about um, the daughters of Aegon and Reyna. The... Um, Aegon and Rhaenys? You mean Aegon no, the, no, Aegon oh, and yeah. the No, the son of Rhaenys and uh, Elisa. Yeah, his... his uh, Jaehaerys and Alicene's oh. older brother and sister, Reyna and Aegon, um, got married, and they had Arya Targaryen and Rala Targaryen. Um, but we don't know what happened to them. We only know that in the the Maegor section, he uh, he said that he she became his heir, but that's it. Yeah, and then we don't hear about that again. Interesting. So I guess. So yeah, I mean, we don't know if that if that was like an active like setting aside, or you know, they might not have survived that long. Um. To the point, like, Jaehaerys might have been, like, the the clear hey, ruler. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Is Arya a boy? That's what it says, but that's I thought mistake. it said she's, they had twins. Uh, but I, yeah, that's one of the, uh, I think, the mistakes they referenced, that the first printing had a couple, uh, like, symbols were, were in error. I think that was one of them. You the book that said uh, the daughter. She's a girl. That's a mistake. Yeah. Oh. Um... Anyway, so, well, anyway, this is, I guess, the first, like, legal, like, public decision, maybe, or whatever. Maybe it's not. Whatever. I think it's, you know, I, it stuck out to me in that um, Jaehaerys was like, no, we're, we're going, you know, with the male line. And Alisane was like, why? And I don't know. It doesn't really say, it says that uh, one of their septa daughters, like, helped them reconcile. But I guess probably because Alisane, like, couldn't do anything about it, which sucks. Um, also notable, he was, like, best buds with Septon Barth, who was, um, also made his hand, um, but he was lowborn, oh my goodness. Um, he had interesting, um, ideas, he helped, this is, by the way, guys, this is, like, literally how I would study for history in high school. (laughs) Like, I would just, like, make a long outline and, like, then read it out loud. Um, so... He wrote The Unnatural History, um, which is a book that we'll come back to probably next time. Um, some of the reforms that he did was um, Jaehaerys and Barth um, and Alisane. They made a unified code of law, which is fascinating. Modernized King's Landing with sewers and access to fresh water, which is really smart. Um, and probably why the city lasted, I feel like. Uh, you know, because I, I feel like if it's just... I don't know. I don't know how long these medieval cities that, like, really had no access to fresh water, like, helped. I mean, could could last, but, um... You need that infrastructure. Mm-hmm. Yes, so I'm right. Good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It's 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 been 
pretty late in a lot of the uh, the big cities before they actually got like a real sewage system. Uh, before they they just threw it out on the street and then let the water th- like throw flow it down the street or threw it out in a in a like a river. Hmm. So like uh, you know both Copenhagen and and also you know London London had a had a very small almost non-existent uh, sewage system before or more like a drainage system but it it didn't uh, cover a, a fraction of, of the whole of part of London and it's only like in the uh, Victorian age they actually made a proper sewage system which yeah, is why the, uh, the, the great stink yeah. they had where the, the river yeah. basically backed up and <laughs> they had a sewer for yeah. a river. and cholera and everything like that yeah so yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, but but London kind of, I mean, I feel like King's Landing is more or less the same now as it, you know, in, in the modern time of the story as it was back then, like maybe like smaller, I mean, I mean, bigger now, but I feel like, like London is like, ha- had like a couple of iterations in terms of like fires and, and all that stuff. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. Right now. Yo, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I it's sort of see your point but i'm still saying whatever yeah in time wise i would still put king's landing now in like a late medieval maybe mm-hmm. uh while whilst london in victorian age is uh well during the Re- uh, industrial revolution or maybe even like in the end of the industrial revolution so so yeah technology wise and what what you would expect especially because there's a lot of well some people draw parallels from from London to King's Landing in in like history wise uh, you would imagine that they would do that as well or have a, have that problem because because Egan was like the the biggest city planner in the world really mm-hmm. right. Well, anyway, if you if you know about medieval systems of sanitation, then definitely let us know in the comments <laughs> or in the forums. But we'll, do, we'll do a city planning VOK oh, yeah. in a separate episode. Yeah, yeah that's going to be fun. That would be awesome. Oh, my goodness. For anyway. Cast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, this is why we shouldn't podcast with Europeans at night. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyway, um, they, he, maybe most important, um, Jaehaerys arranged a reconciliation with the faith with the help of Septon Barth. Um, they, basically, they had to demilitarize and accept outside justice, which seemed like a, an interesting little thing to me, but I don't know if it's really worth discussing. Basically, the faith had their own system of justice, and then the nobles, who, like, so they could, like, judge themselves and, like, have a septon be like, oh no, this other septon didn't do anything wrong. And the nobles were like, that's not fair, even though, like, they didn't face the same system of justice as, like, the poor people, so whatever. But anyway, um, and in return, Jaehaerys swore that the Iron Throne would always protect and defend the faith. And this is where that particular story ends for about 200 years until we come to a certain Cersei Lannister. (laughs) <laughs> um they um Alicene and um Jaehaerys have a lot of kids like a lot of kids um and most of them died do you guys want to talk about this incredibly depressing part of the story I have no comment <laughs> well I mean let's just say they had Let's go to this picture. Also, another. Oh, wait, no. They had some successes. I mean, Archmaester Dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> some others. How many did they have? They had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They had nine children. Um, they had 13 in the family tree. Oh, okay. Oh, so these are the ones who live to adulthood. God. <laughs> it's even worse. Um, with a very sad and lovely picture at the top of. Harry is like looking at Alisane. Um, Prince Aemon killed by pirates. Um, Prince Balin um, died of appendicitis. 
Archmaester Vagan, who they were probably like at a certain point, oh, <laughs> we shouldn't have sent him to the Citadel, um, became an Archmaester. Um, I don't know what that means, the yellow gold, the ring, rod, and mask of yellow gold. I don't remember what that signifies. Anyone else? Probably a token Anyone of office, but I don't think we've heard of it before, have we? Well, I mean, the... the maybe the prologue uh, for the feast prologue. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Because remember, like, how each metal, like, signifies a different field of study? Mm. So I don't remember what the yellow gold signifies, but... Did they mention a, a guy with a yellow gold mask there? Or I'm... I don't really remember that well, so... Maybe. We need a wiki. I know, right? But, like, that's such a small detail. I don't even know if that would be on the wiki. Uh, Economics. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> actually, <laughs> oh, it actually is coming up in my PDFs of uh, Storm of Swords, but maybe that's just yellow and gold. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, if if you remember, write in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> um, they had uh, Princess Dela, who died in childbirth. Um, she was married to an Aaron. Um, Princess Alyssa who was married to Balin the Brave, who was the mother of two kings, which I don't remember which ones, but we're not up to that yet, so that's fine. Um, Princess Viscera, who was high-spirited and died... She was betrothed to a Manderly, so yay, Manderly. But she died riding a horse drunk in, in King's Landing. Septimigel, who died of grayscale. She was... Lovely and nice and nurse children who had grayscale. Quick question. Where it said of Alyssa where two of her sons would come to wear crowns, I looked that up. One of them is Viserys, but who's the second? Do they mean Damon when he wore Damon his crown? Damon because he, when he was king of, king of the, the Stepsons. Oh. The stepsons yeah. Okay, because that's a little think, sneaky line they put in there. <laughs> I think Maybe that's go what the they mean. The, well, that's what it would have to mean, right? Yes, because the other son died young or something. He's not yeah. anywhere else. Right. Hmm. Um, Princess Sarah, who ran away from... She's an interesting one. She ran away from the mother house, which is what the Septa's place is called. Um, crossed the narrow sea. She was at least for a time. Then Old Volantis, where she ended her days as the propi proprietor of a famous pleasure house. And Princess Gale, called the Winter Child for some reason who died because she got pregnant by a singer, which sucks. And her death basically killed um, Alison. Yeah, that was pretty sad. It's like, ooh, a little footnote. Oh, oh. Yeah, right? like, <laughs> no good news there. Very much Ophelia drowning herself. Yeah. It's almost cliche at that point. Like, a, yeah, I don't know. Um... But something interesting about these these kids, actually, uh, these daughters, is that I think the History of Westeros podcast like pointed this out, that this might be a clue that like Illyrio's wife, Sarah, was actually was a Targaryen or descended from a Targaryen. Because like, if you put them together, you have Viscera, and Sarah is like spelled the same. Um, and then you have the grayscale clue with Miguel, who died of grayscale. And then Princess Sarah, who ran away and started the Pleasure House across the Narrow Sea. So, like, if you put those things together, it's possible that that Illyrio's wife, would, like, came from this somehow. Wasn't Illyrio's wife from Pentos, though? Is, isn't, isn't Lise, like, really off? It's the one that's off the coast of the Free City. Yeah, right? yeah, but she... She that's was like also an old Atlantis, and oh, maybe I don't know. see. I didn't listen. Like... To the, I didn't want to listen to the actual episodes of the stuff before we discussed it. Oh, I didn't I'm sorry. Get the no, no, no. It's fine. like I didn't. Uh... Never mind. Yeah. <clears throat> well, anyway, so I thought that was an interesting theory. I don't know if it's true, but we'll see. Um, we'll see. <laughs> Great. That's that's intelligent. Um, <laughs> okay. So now, even though like half of their children died. Um, there are still too many Targaryens, because I guess some of them spawned before they died. Um, so, but there is no... Like bugs? <laughs> they spawned. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, whatever. My, my Targaryen sentiments might be showing a little bit. Um, but 
there is no clear error. So what do we do? We call a great council. Um, who's going to be the heir? Um, I don't know the direct, um, like, specific lineage of each of these characters, but um, you guys probably remember this. It was in The Princess and the Queen and The Rogue Prince, where the great council basically chose between Laenor Valerian, um, who was the son of Corlys of Valerian, and the queen who never was, and Viserys, who is somebody's kid. I don't remember. But the point is, Viserys is descended through the male line, and they went with Viserys. So Isn't Viserys Daemon's child? Or what was it? The brother. one... The, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. The one who was supposed to be King's brother. Yeah. That's why... Yeah, that's why he, he, did, chose, that's he why, chose Balon, and it was, it was Balon's younger brother, right? Yeah, exactly. Balon, yeah. Okay, so it was Balon's younger brother. No, it was his but son. No. It was Balon's son. It was son. But yeah, it was you, his son. But if you notice, Balon was married to his sister, and the sister was the, the oldest living child, so so I thought that was interesting, too, because... Yeah, it wasn't quite said. as clear as... No, in the family yeah. tree, you get the, the birth order. Yeah. She was older. Um. Hmm. So, yeah, so they go with Viserys, and Viserys is um, the prince of Dragonstone now. Um, have they ever gone with a person from another house? Oh, that's an interesting question. So, like, I'm not sure who wrote that, but we we it's, talked it's, about that on the on the Greencast. I remember like having you know was it ever realistic that they would pick a Valerian instead of a Targaryen? Because mm -hmm. in hindsight, we've got 200 years of history saying no, but like that that could have been a precedent that could have changed everything. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, I, I wrote it, and I actually forgot we talked about it in on the Greencast. Uh, but yeah, it's it's essentially it, if if she were Valerian, she would she would ha have have had Targaryen blood in her, but she wouldn't have been a Targaryen. Who are you talking about? Yeah, Wait. what whomever oh. uh, this 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 person specifically the uh, to. The uh, Valerian. Uh, Lainor? Lainor, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I think sh she she would still have been Valerian and that, that Valeron uh, instead of of Targaryen. And that, that would have changed a lot of things. And I don't think there's ever been anyone afterwards that hasn't been Targaryen by name before. No, uh, before uh, getting proclaimed, or maybe a Blackfire if you if you count them pl proclaiming themselves uh, kings. True, oh, but not not kings on the Iron Throne. So yeah. yeah, yeah. No one whose last name is not Targaryen has sat the Iron Throne until well, but, Robert. But Robert cl um, also um, had claimed to have the right to the throne because he had the um, Targaryen grandmother. So mm -hmm. the Valerian person might have done the same thing. Well, it was the yeah. Targaryen grandmother, and I think it was also Oris Baratheon, like that we were talking about, right? Weren't they? Well, if he was a, a bastard too, but we we don't know. Yeah, but like I the Targaryen feel blood. like I remember hearing that as a as a reasoning too. Does that make sense? No. Yeah, he he was yeah. one of the he, of of the people behind the rebellion. He was the one with the strongest claim, no doubt. Uh, but yeah, you could have done a Valerian. Valerian, they they still exist now in the books. So you could actually have said, well, maybe they are better suited to be the king. Yeah, but yeah, they like sided with the Targaryens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They were mm. on the wrong side of that one. Yeah, um, aren't the Valerians with Stannis? So they're on the right side. Yeah, now they are. <laughs> yeah, but they sided with the Targs back then, oh, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, they must have. But this I mean, gave us a little more inf info into Corlys Valerian, who was, you, you know, you quite a interesting character. I like that he tried to find like the, uh, the the lands of always winter Northwest Passage, basically for this world, thinking that there's a way around Westeros. And uh, interesting also that we find out that the Valerians came to Westeros before the Targaryens, which I always thought the Targaryens were the first ones. Yeah, it is kind of funny that they, yeah. like, I guess they just didn't have dragons or whatever, but it's it's very funny to me that it's, like, the Targaryens and Westeros, and it's, like, the Valer Valerians are, like, and us, too, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, they're apparently not dragon lords. So. Yeah, I guess not. Maybe Which sea is my mind sort of. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no, go ahead. Uh, just how absurdly important the Valerians used to be in sort of geopolitics of Westeros. Yeah. And yeah. now in our contemporary, they're completely tertiary to like the Stannis faction, but they're like yeah. a non-entity. Yeah. I didn't recognize yeah. them. Like I didn't recognize the name when we started reading all the stuff about the princess and the queen and stuff. Yeah, that's what happens when you lose a civil war, usually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. A few civil they, wars. <laughs> yeah, several. <laughs> Well, he didn't just, they didn't just have power in, in Westeros. They had power in the whole of Planetos or what you, whatever you would call it. Oh, you bring they, back elephants from Yeti, you're going to have some, some say in what goes down. Yeah, oh, sorry, exactly. the elephants, the elephants died. I know, sorry. <laughs> the gems, they got lots of gems and spices. <laughs> yeah. Very interesting. Oh, I, and the picture on uh, what page is that? Page 62 and 63 is just amazing. Uh, I never pictured there being this much or th this large room in Harren Hall, but of course there is. Yeah. It looked like a uh, Dwaro Delph when I first flipped to this page. Yeah. Sort of, sort of like uh, Dragon Age. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Excuse me. Well, I like it. <laughs> Unacceptable. <laughs> well, we just had a hiccup, so it might be time to wrap up. <laughs> um, no, 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 that's fine. <laughs> it's a cough button, not a hiccup button. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, the, um, the only notable thing, really, that happens before Jaehaerys dies is that he makes Otto Hightower his hand. And Otto Hightower brings his lovely wife to court Allison Hightower, who yeah, nobody feel, likes. Yeah, like, because I, I firmly was in, like, the, in the, um, the black camp, but if you're going from a purely legalistic point of view, like, it was all set here. That yeah, damn it. It should have gone, it, it shouldn't have happened. It was only because Viserys later on has his lord swear fealty to Rhaenyra that it, all the shit happens, but if that, this, this kind of settled it, that it should have settled it, and I just didn't like any of them, but it's, it's, it should have just been... Aegon. Mm. But then, like, I keep going back to, like, but you're, if you're Rhaenyra, what are you supposed to do, you know, like... No, I know, it's you know. tough for everybody, but... Yeah. yeah, I don't know. And that painting yeah. of, of Jaehaerys and his wife and his kid is, it's it's just super, almost too realistic. Yeah. And it's it's just really pretty haunting how they're all kind of, like, gazing off that, that kid, like, it's not gonna end well. No. That's the kid who dies with the pirates. Yeah. Um, Looks like a hobbit baby. Oh. Okay, so thank you so much for listening to us talk about the first four Targaryen kings. Next time, at a date to be specified and probably debated and changed several times on the forums, we will be talking about Viserys the first um, through Viserys the second. But no, they do not come right one right after the other. Um, that will include the Dance of the Dragons, Darren the Young Dragon, and Bailey the Blessed, who I have so many thoughts on. Um, yeah, thank you so much for listening. Say goodbye to the people, guys.